digital designs i'm back with another video um, this video will be about how to create designs on etsy that will i mean on canva i'm sorry using etsy on what is already popular what is already best selling for the fall getting some ideas to get ready for the the fourth quarter of the year which is if you don't know already it's the, of course the most popular season of the year where people start buying gifts so um, if you're going to be selling on Etsy, the best thing that I always recommend people do is to do your research on Etsy first. So if you specifically are want to do about fall shirts, it is of course better to pick a specific niche. Um, you can start broad first and then work your way down um, so that you have different type of listings and that you so that you can get more visibility. So what I first did was I did fall t-shirt for women. Uh, for example, if you only want to sell t-shirts to women, you want to go ahead and start your search off broad. And then what you want to do is look at what's popular now or and the best sellers to get some ideas on what is already selling so that you can recreate these designs. And then after you do that, so we're going to go ahead and look through right now. So we see popular now. We see the ghost one, the ghost with the flower, I mean with the leaves, um, all of these at the top, um, the pumpkin. From what I've seen that a lot of times people will try to do these complex designs. And most of the time, simple designs sell very well. As you can see, this is just a simple floral. Um, right here, we have three pumpkins with a little bit of patchwork on it. Um, so that's popular now. We have this fall with the background letters, I mean the words on the back. One pumpkin, one pumpkin design, popular now. Uh, popular now, a duck with a cup. So you just wanna go through and look bestseller. Simple with just three leaves that are gold. And popular now, the pumpkin with the bow. So you just want to take note of what is popular. And um, like I said, the designs are not super complicated. A little ray of pitch black, a pumpkin, cozy season. Um, yeah, so this is just to get an idea of what is popular and what is selling and what is showing up on the first page. So what you can do is you can start creating some designs that are similar to these first, and then you can niche down. Um, if you wanted to create fall t-shirts for moms, you can search at that next. Or if you want to create fall t-shirts for teachers, for nurses, um, and then you can niche now down even further. If you wanted to do, for example, fall shirts for pediatric nurses, or fall shirts for kindergarten teachers or fall shirts for boy moms. So you can make sure to always niche down so you can have a variety of options, like I said, to be more visible. So um, so this one right here with the three pumpkins. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to Canva. And so what I did was um, I typed in on templates, I just typed in t-shirt design. You're just gonna collect click one so that it opens up and you go like this for this sizing so they give you this sizing so for right now I'm just going to show you um, this is basically like an Instagram post sizing but for right now I'm going to do it on here but then what I do is I get the sizing from Printful um, so that you can make sure that you if you're going to be having on the print on demand that it's the right sizing and it's going to be high resolution so as you can see, I already started looking and I, what I did was just type in uh, fall and or pumpkins. And as you can see, they already have so many cute pumpkin designs that kind of are similar to what was popular. And you can do three together or you can do one. We saw that, that there was coffee with the pumpkins and with the leaves. So there, this person right here has a lot of cute designs um so if you want to search her name you can find these and as you can see if you wanted to do a niche of people who love books they have cute pumpkins with the book for doctors they have this right here this telescope with the coffee so this person already uh, gave you some very cute ideas we have a pumpkin with the bow on it which we saw was popular already and to make it different 
you can change the color of the pumpkin or change the color of the bow if you want just to make it a little bit simple a little bit simple uh, as we saw the designs were simple you could put a word uh, right here maybe fall or to your specific niche you can put a cute short saying or maybe a mom life here um, or something like that whoever your niche is just right under here would add the text simple designs maybe fall mom we go to effects curve and wrap it around the pumpkin stretch out the letters a little bit center it change this font fall mom and you can go through and decide which font you like the most and like i said there's tons of this is a good person um, to look through there's tons of cute pumpkin designs with flowers cute coffee cups bows um, we have a ghost so if we saw a ghost with coffee we see that that is a good combination a lot of people are coffee drinkers especially people who are nurses and doctors and teachers so that's a good niche that you could do and these certain they let you edit certain colors so the colors that they let you edit you can go ahead and just use and change and like I said you can add different elements to these to make it a little bit different um, adding text or words for your niche as you can see you can change the leaf color so if you want it to match the leaf color to the ghost's bow we just hit the orange select it right here and then now we can have the colors matching or if you wanted to use that green right there you could do that just duplicated it if you want to do just something simple with leaves on the side again we'll group this make it smaller if you wanted to add some text under here for your specific niche to kind of grab their attention um, yes because of course with Etsy there is a lot of different people who are going to be creating designs or already have designs for fall so the more specific you are the more likely that you're going to make a sale and that you are going to be found um, with pages or niches with less competition um, this like I said, this, this one has so many cute designs right here if you wanted to do. Um, and then you can also, if you don't know what sayings to do, you can go ahead and get ideas from ChatGPT or Etsy. You can look on Etsy and see what cute designs, ideas, or sayings are selling well. So we can say cute sayings about fall and moms or we could say girl moms for t-shirt designs we're going to say short so that it doesn't give us too like, long make it specific as well it's pumpkin spice and play dates falls Falling leaves, mama please. Um, Mama's little pumpkin crew. Falling for motherhood. A lot of cute things. Mama, mama's fall vibes. Pumpkin patch mama. I think that goes along with it. Um, but you can pick any one. You can do all of them if you want. And we're going to make this smaller. A 
Okay, so for this design, you can keep it simple and then simply find a font that you want and download as is. Again, you could alter the, the curve of the words if you want to do that as well. Um, you can go through here in these different effects here where we have a shadow and you can change the color of the shadow. We have a lift. doesn't really look good um, with this type of design, but you have a splice where you can change the inside of the color. You can do an outline instead and you can change the outside color or you can change the inside color by hitting text color. And so there is a lot of different things that you can do, but to just keep it simple, we can go ahead and just have the words like this. And then you can just go ahead and download this file with a transparent background because it's gonna go on a shirt. You're gonna go ahead and select your current page, hit done and download. And you're gonna do that for every single um, design that you create. And so, like I was saying before, um, you're going to make sure that you do a little bit of research on your niche or what type of audience you're going to go ahead and make your fall shirts for. And then you're going to go through, look through Canva to see similar designs and try to create those designs that have already been selling well. And so when it comes to sizing, so what you're going to want to do is go into Printful and get that sizing. So that's if you're going to be doing print on demand. So if you go to Printful and you sign in, And you're going to go over to catalog t-shirts and just for the purposes of this video we're just going to click a t-shirt and we're going to go ahead and hit start designing and as you can see right here print area 3852 times 4398 so what you're going to do is go through go over to canva and go to your home screen and you're going to go ahead and type in custom size and you're going to want to put in that exact same amount so that you can know that you're in the the right print area so 3852 by 4398 hit create new design and you can go ahead and copy the designs that you're creating over here or you can start out with creating your designs in the correct sizing um, which would be best so we're going to go back over here we're going to group this all together and we're going to hit copy and then we're going to go ahead and put it over here and then we're going to stretch it out to fit the sizing and you're going to go ahead and do the same thing where you download this as a transparent background and you're going to upload it to Printful and look how show look how it looks on the shirt to make sure that everything looks good and then you're going to go over and once you add it over to the shirt you're going to have to save the product and then they have a way for you to connect your Printify account to Etsy. If you need me to create an individual uh, video for how to do that, I will. I believe I already have a basic tutorial on creating t-shirts. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, um, that goes in more detail about um, putting the shirts on Printful and Etsy. But I will create a specific video if you guys let me know in the comment section that, that is what you want me to do. And so, yes, yeah, so you're going to do that for every single design. So this is how you would be able to create some fall designs to get ready uh, for fall using Canva. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, uh, like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss a video. I will be dropping videos every week, at least one video a week, but um, sometimes multiple. Okay, bye-bye.